In one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to create a Node.js API and integrate MongoDB with it. In case you want to offer it to the world, you need to host it somewhere. So in today's video, I will show you how to host your Node.js based API on two services actually. The first one is render.com and the other one is railway so both of these services offer free accounts let's start with render first so first of all you have to sign into the render account and for that i'm going to use github so i want to host web services then i need to connect the repository since my github is already connected to my account it is showing me all the repositories i can host my code from so basically i have created this mongoose tutorial repository on codelet learning where actually this code is hosted so you can also grab this code from here i'm going to leave the link of this repo in the video description check that out in case you simply just want to try things out without creating a node project so you can grab this project and then directly host it on either render or railway so i can simply connect this repository and i can name my service whatever i want to so let's say node demo for the time being i can choose the reason i am located in india so i am going to choose singapore but you can choose accordingly the branch is going to be main because all the code is hosted on the main branch okay and then the root directory is going to be in the default one and the environment is going to be node and the build command is yarn actually i do not need a build command so we can leave it as it is and then we can do yarn and then dev as of now we do not have a start command but that's okay so in the script you can see that we do not have a start command okay i will also show you how to run this application on local so in order to run it on local what you have to do you have to download this repository you can either use ssh or download the zip file and extract it somewhere and once it is extracted you can go inside this repository and then you have to do yarn and then dev so this will start your project from the local system as you can see that you need to pass in the db string environment variable in order for it to work because we need a working mongodb connection for this application to work and once it is started i can go to localhost and then users in order to see my result so basically i have these two records on my mongodb database so this is a setup it is not that complicated so you also need to define this db string on render okay so yarn dev is going to be the command and we are going to go with the free instance type and then create web service okay then from here what you have to do you have to go to this environment tab and now you have to define environment variables you can click on this button and from here you can get the name of your variable that is db string so db string is the name of the environment variable and i'm going to feed in my mongodb connection string so just a disclaimer that this string will not work for you you have to create your own i have shown you how to create uh, your own connection string from mongodb atlas in my previous video i will probably link it somewhere so you can go and check that video out but uh, do not try to just reuse this credential because it is not going to work i am going to change it after this video so i will just press save changes so this db string environment variable is defined so what happens is that when render loads up my application it also loads up this db string environment variable or you can say it injects this particular environment variable into the environment my app is going to run in so by default the application will find process.env.db string in the environment and then my node js application can use it so it is defined and let me see whether this url is working so it says bad gateway okay let's see what happened so i'll go to events okay so it is deploying as of now that is why it says 502 so we need to wait for some time for it to work or you can go to deploy and see for yourself what is happening it says it is generating a container image so most probably these render guys are hosting 
the Node.js applications via Docker container. So basically they are creating a Docker container out of our application code and then they will inject the environment variables and then they will host that particular Docker image somewhere and you know open the inbound traffic to that Docker container. Okay, so they are uploading build. So our application has been started. Let's see if it is working. So it seems like that the database is connected now to the application. Let's go back to this URL and reload this stuff. It says 502 still. Let's see, reload it again. And now the application is live as we can see here because we are getting to see this default error because we have not created any handler for the default route. So the route that is available to us is users as we can see from here from the index file. So this index file shows you that we have this user endpoint and then this user endpoint for posting or creating new users. Okay, so using the user's endpoint, we can fetch the data. So this data is coming from the MongoDB database hosted on MongoDB Atlas. So we can say that our API is working fine and this is a way for you to upload your Node.js based APIs onto render and host it for free. Now let's do the same thing for railway. Okay, so again, you have to go to railway.app. They are also offering a free tier. So you can sign up for that and then you can log in. I will log in using GitHub. Okay, so that I can readily fetch my code from GitHub repository. Okay, so I'll create a new project and then I will deploy from GitHub repo and then I will simply select my GitHub repo. Let me search for it mongoose tutorial. Okay, and I will simply add variables so basically if you want to define an environment variable in railway this is the way to go so i have to define one variable and that is db string as we have already seen in case of render so db string and then the value i can again go back to package.json and copy my connection string from here and it goes here at and it has rescheduled a uh, redeploy. So this is common across the board. Whenever you update your environment variables, all of such services are going to redeploy your application in order for them to re reflect the change in the environment variables. We can over to deployments and then we can see that it is deploying. Since I last tried railway, they have since uh, updated the platform so they no longer generate this domain names for your services so i had to go into the repo and include this code so basically railway guys suggest that your applications need to listen on this 0.0.0.0 address and on some port which you need to define so i had to define one more variable that is port and it is port number 80 as of now because we do not want our app users to just provide some random port we want to host it on the default port that is port number 80 okay so once i have defined this port number and have made this change the application has started showing me this tab automatic deployment earlier it was not visible so now i can generate domain so i will generate a domain from here so now this is the domain for our application and we can simply go to this domain as of now it says that your deployment should be live soon we can reload it again and both in case of render and railway once you push to your repo these guys will automatically redeploy your code so here our application is live on railway and now we can again go to users in order to see our application working so this is how you can host your application on railway so just keep these two things in mind that you need to have this port environment variable defined and on top of that in your application itself you need to listen on this particular address so that is it for today guys and in case you haven't subscribed to codelet yet make sure you subscribe to this channel 